if you have just joined us, another, vi not, not, not another one. Oh, TJ Khaled, another one. All right, if you've just joined us, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I hope you woke up well. I hope your weekend was fantastic. And if there's anything you'd like to share with us at White254 is where you need to be on Facebook at White254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning or Man Crush Monday or health or why politics. It's a lot of hashtags. It's okay. We're in that generation where we like hashtags. My name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. And this is the first segment of the day. So we're going to talk about health. And we like to break it down so that you can have a comprehensive you know grip of what's going on in this health situation so today first say hi to my guest hi hi how are you i'm good you look you? very dapper sir i yeah, really like your uniform Inez you. mm. please join us yeah you really it's not enjoy. too late no 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 no, no that no, was no, just no. a high school thing in high school i wasn't from boarding school no in high school it's just enjoying walikwana tusumbua na uniform at kwat na pumua first aid does we 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 it's good it was preparing for them for the for the life to come yeah <laughs> that was just a foundation so there are skills that they acquired that i might have missed in high yeah, school yeah sure but i can it's never too late for it's me it's never too late wow yeah. what is your good name sir so my name is Fred Majiwa, mm -hmm. I'm the head of program at St. John Abilance. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what we do is uh, responding to accidents when they occur with our ambulances. Mm -hmm. But we also share the skills that we have by mm -hmm. training people, mm -hmm. whether it's the general public or it's companies or in schools. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have a vision to ensure that uh, every household at least have somebody mm -hmm. who is trained first aider. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of incidents that happen that lead to deaths or sometimes worsening of injuries mm -hmm. that could have been prevented if there was a first aid around. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are spreading that gospel according to St. John. I like that. Also, it sounds a bit pricey. You just, uh, as you explain the process in my head, I was just trying to calculate, okay, so now I have to go apply, then start paying things. No, not Is really. It, not you really. Know, you know, mm. uh, that's, that's what most people think. Mm -hmm. But what I've always seen is people come with that thought that this thing is going to be boring, just like school, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. But when they join in the next hour, mm -hmm. they asked us, can we extend this to wow. two weeks? Uh -huh. Because we don't apply the traditional lecture method. Mm -hmm. We apply fun study mm -hmm. because we are training adults mm -hmm. who really need to enjoy what they are doing but at the same time learning important skills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so at the end of it most of the people they come out very happy uh, very ready to help mm -hmm. and they enjoy where they could have taken one week they even asked us whether we can extend so it's a one week process yes it's a one week process that's the maximum yeah so mimi ni vai uniform kaya ko na nembe ni wiki tu. No 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 no. You don't need, you don't need you don't need the uniform. <laughs> but I want the best looking uniform. How do I get to where you are, sir? Yeah, if you want to wear the uniform, mm -hmm. there are two ways. Mm -hmm. You can join so that you become a member. Mm -hmm. That just means that you just go to our center, you register, mm -hmm. you take and around the divisions that we have. Mm -hmm. Then you choose the one which you think you fit in well. Mm -hmm. Then once you fit in. Uh, you'll be taken through an induction which takes about three to five days mm -hmm. so that you are told what we normally do, what will be required of you. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you're taken to a one-week first aid training. Mm -hmm. Then after one-week first aid training, then you can wear the uniform. Because mm -hmm. when you wear the uniform before the training, mm -hmm. people will be calling you St. John. And but you lying. can't give mm -hmm. what St. John is required to, mm -hmm. to give. That's why the wearing of the uniform comes last. But even after that, you may choose to make this your career mm -hmm. by joining a six months course called emergency medical technician, mm -hmm. where now you can be a paramedic in the ambulance. Mm. So that's when now you start wearing this kind of green uniform. But mm. the other one is black and white. <laughs> yeah, black and white, they at Sumbua High School. Yeah, 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 sure. I see you brought us goodies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are we looking at right here? Yeah, this, this is what we use in the training. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the, the child dummy mm -hmm. uh, and the adult mm -hmm. dummy. So, uh, for instance, for the child, we use it for demonstrating things like uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. 
That is just basically mtu wa kizima unajaribu yeah, breathe just, like in the yes, movies. Yes, just trying to do the work of the heart. Mm -hmm. Because the work of the heart is just to spread the oxygenated blood to body tissues. Mm -hmm. Because all your body tissues need oxygen at all times. Mm -hmm. And your heart always wants that oxygen. Mm -hmm. And if it stops even for four minutes, you're gone. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important and that's why we train people on how to do it. Okay. It rarely occur, but when it occurs, this skill is very important. Likewise, mm -hmm. we do the same with adults, only that the maneuvers for doing the adult one is different, slightly different with the, the child with the, one. Yeah. Okay, so can we, can we work that way, come in this side? Yeah, so, so, we start with the so child. when, we, for instance, we mm -hmm. start with this uh, uh, dummy for the kid, mm -hmm. you can learn maybe one or two skills. One is when a baby chokes. So when a baby chokes... Don't panic, number one, because I've already panicked in yes, my head. Yes, it's very scary yeah. because the eyes are bulging. Hey! And <laughs> and now, okay? And, uh, hey, what? Yeah, you, 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 it can be very scary. Mm -hmm. But if you have the skill, you'll always feel confident. Okay. It's just something that you can handle. Teach us the yeah. skill. So please, when it comes to choking, mm -hmm. you first of all check the mouth. Mm -hmm. If you can see anything, then you use the small finger, mm -hmm. then you remove it. Mm -hmm. But if you can't see, you don't do a blind sweep mm -hmm. because you can push the object inside. inside. And you use the small finger, not the other one. Mm -hmm. The mouth of the baby is too small for the other fingers. Mm -hmm. If you can't remove it, you turn the baby facing down, mm -hmm. then you hit at the back between the shoulder blades with the heel of your... Yeah, my say, okay, wait, 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 because there's shock in the gallery as well as here in my head. Yeah. Because babies, oh, please, sir, you know, it's so sensitive. I don't know when, when it's breathing. <laughs> so how do you just start hitting the back? Now, kigonga pali pabaya. Yeah, what you do is so small. when you turn, mm. the area you protect is the neck mm -hmm. and head area. That's why I'm trying to hold it like this. Okay, so so I protect this neck and head area. Okay. But this area is where you hit. Between you just the shoulder hit blades. Hard enough. Mm. It's better an injury than death. Okay, hard enough as in a mosquito. Palm. I'm a hard no. enough. You you use the your palm. Palm. To hit at the back because what you are trying to do is mm. to force air out of the cavity to push the object out. Okay. So you just do one. Uh -huh. Two, <laughs> three, four, Oy. and five. And when you do like that, you uh, make the baby a little bit slanting so that the gravity can help you to remove the. Hey, you have to see mathematics in physics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? So if the object doesn't come out, you turn the baby up. Mm -hmm. Again, you use the two fingers, then two you locate fingers. the nipples at the center, you press in five times. Oh, so God. This is called. Nipple. Okay, so. Nipples na ziguze hivo. Yeah. Alafu katikati sasa. Katikati, mm -hmm. yeah. Then you press inside five times. Five times. Yeah, so this we call chest thrust. Mm -hmm. And the back one we call back slaps. And I'm seeing you're using those. Two fingers. What so kind of pressure are you applying? Maybe just generally. Just barely about half an inch to an inch uh -huh. inside. Yeah. So you press one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. Then you check. Mm -hmm. if there's any object that has come out. If there's nothing, then you repeat the cycle. Mm -hmm. Back blows, followed by five chest compressions. Okay. Yeah. Why Until do they have to be five? Is there a particular reason? No, five is, is just adequate enough to remove oh. an object. So okay. if it doesn't remove, you shift mm -hmm. to the chest. Mm -hmm. So you're just trying to spread the pressure both back and front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but each time you check the mouth if the object has mm -hmm. come out. So that's one skill you can learn from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second one mm -hmm. is CPR. Mm -hmm. That's the cardiopulmonary resuscitation, where if you have a, a child that is unconscious and not breathing, mm -hmm. first you check whether the baby is breathing or not. For those of us who do not have babies that yes. have come out of our wombs yet, yes. how do you know if it's unconscious? You know, a baby can sleep. Oh, when you're melala, yeah, sure. maybe even th how can you? Am I? You can always hear, feel, or see. I'm when, 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 when you put your ear like this, uh -huh. you will always feel the warmth coming from the nose or uh -huh. the mouth. Uh -huh. 
but mostly from the nose because uh, young babies are pure nose breathers. Mm -hmm. They breathe through the mouth, mm -hmm. through the nose, not the mouth. So when you put like this, you will feel the warmth mm -hmm. and you also hear the sound. How can I tell he's asleep or am I he's passed out? Like, Even the if the, the baby is asleep, mm -hmm. those things will still, you will still hear and feel them. Okay. So even when you do your eyes like this slanting, you'll also see the chest and stomach area rising in uh -huh, uh -huh. and falling. So uh, the yeah, child is unconscious now. But there's another thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you want to wake the baby, mm -hmm. you can tap the Nam the feet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the baby will, mm -hmm. will wake up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But checking for breathing is you feel the warmth. Mm -hmm. You hear the sound or you see the chest rise mm -hmm. fall. Sometimes it's not the chest but the stomach. Mm -hmm. If you don't see those signs, mm -hmm. you need to start CPR very fast. Mm -hmm. So cardiopulmonary is a station. You just blow through the mouth. The first one you do five times. Mm -hmm. So you blow. <laughs> uh. When you blow, you check whether the chest is rising, mm -hmm. then falling. Then, okay, your thing is moving, the door thing, I can yes, see movement. Yes, but so when you it. blow, you must uh -huh. see whether it's rising mm -hmm. or falling. If it's not rising, it means there's a blockage somewhere on the neck. Okay. Yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, so you need to work on that. Any kubloa kubuliza, see... Case of life. Why do they call yes. it the case of life first? Because it gives life. Okay. Because so it's not actual the, yeah, the air you breathe out carries some percentage of mm. oxygen. Mm -hmm. So when you breathe to the baby, then it will supply the oxygen that mm -hmm. the baby requires. Then after doing five times, mm -hmm. then you, at the center of the chest, you use the two fingers mm -hmm. to do chest compressions 30 times. Mm. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up to 30. thirty. Then after that, you come back to giving two rescue breaths, mm -hmm. followed by thirty chest compression. Mm -hmm. It's only the initial one that you do five. The subsequent one, you do two rescue breaths, thirty chest compressions, well, and you will do it uh -huh. until you get tired mm -hmm. or the baby uh, becomes awake again, mm -hmm. or there's somebody else to help you. Sometimes. To pre not sometimes, always to mm. prevent infection, there is always something called a CPR uh, mask, mm -hmm. which you use to blow through the mouth to prevent cross infection. Mm -hmm. But if it's the mother and the baby, normally you find they just blow mm -hmm. direct because mm -hmm. uh, there is very minimal mm -hmm. chance of infection. But it's always advisable to use CPR mask. Yeah, but I'm sure. At least half of the population does not walk around with these things. They yes, like. sure. So they have the real babies. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what happens? Ama utunenda tuna yesu. We just help and the tutenda mema tutenda mema tuende zetu. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, that's that's the important part of first aid. Mm -hmm. Is that when you learn it, you use it to help other people more than you use it to help yourself. Because you cannot yeah. perform CPR. Yeah, also. and that comes with some satisfaction sometimes mm -hmm. because you can see one or two people are working mm -hmm. because of so one or two way things way that you give do. Part on the yeah, if God is here, you are somehow below. <laughs> okay, so so far, class, what have we learned? That if you're choking, yeah. you are supposed to, this is just for an infant, right? Yeah. So, it first, ni, ni kutafta. Yeah. Then you remove it with the smallest finger, yes. this one, the pinky. Yeah. And if you can't see it, you turn the child Sing over, down. Mm -hmm. Protecting supporting the neck, the neck yes, yeah. in the head area, and then yeah. between the shoulder blades, yeah. five times. Five times. Yeah. So you come back, you measure nipple, apokatikati, now that is another five. Okay, like and repeat the process until the yes. or the object is out of. Yes. What's important on this skin mm -hmm. is that normally the brain requires consistent supply of oxygen mm -hmm. all the time. And if it stops for more than four minutes, mm -hmm. the cells begin to die mm -hmm. and they are irreplaceable. That's why my skin talk of brain dead, that means a cabbage, yes. well, that's yes. no yeah. supply of oxygen. So after six minutes, mm -hmm. death is likely soon after. Six and you know, minutes. within those minutes, yeah. even the fastest ambulance may not help you. 
you'll just oh have to gosh. do it uh -huh. yourself. Okay. That's why if you don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. uh, mostly you find, for instance, parents, they panic. Mm -hmm. So they want to rush home in mm -hmm. a car. You won't manage. The only thing is to tell the person who is nearby mm -hmm. what to do to help the baby who is choking. That's a good point. Because yeah. if I see someone choking, my first reaction will not be, come, let me help you. Just yeah. Let's get someone and call for help. Yeah. Bay, I'm, I'm hurting you more yes. than I'm helping you. The good thing of calling an ambulance mm -hmm. is that they may not be sending you an ambulance, but mm -hmm. they will give you the instruction over the phone oh -ho. on what to do. Yeah, sure. No, that's, that's how it happens. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, the next step, what did we learn? We learned how to do the CPR. Well, yes, we learned how to do the CPR. Uh, and then CPR is you blow in five, five times, times. Uh -huh, as he is doing the kiss of life. Niku blow, please. blow, naku chukwa yo heo blow. Just blow once, uh -huh, five times, two. Uh -huh. yeah. And then after you, then you place the two uh, where we went the first time, yeah. in and Nipo, Kati yeah. Kati. and then you press 30, 30 times. times. Yeah. Wow. One, two, All three, right. up to 30. Now, when you are not going to be able to get a baby, you will not be able to get a baby. Yes. <laughs> Just uh, in case anyone was interested. So that's yeah. one dummy down. Yeah. We have another one. Um, we, ni mkubwa kuliko yeah, this one is, 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 is slightly big. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do they have names? I feel like calling him Kevo. Uh, hmm. We call these ones. To meet Ian. These ones we call them. Ian, you're twin. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The person who invented these dummies, okay. the name was Anne. So normally, uh -huh. these dummies are called Anne, and these ones are called baby Anne's. Wow. After the name of the inventor. At least the them. I feel yeah. some empowerment yeah. <laughs> situation. So what are yeah. we looking at? Yeah, here? so for this one, normally, mm -hmm. you cannot, it cannot be up. It's mm -hmm. always down. Eh. Because when somebody is not breathing, mm. he will not be standing. That is so a good point. Yeah, so they will always be sleeping. That is why they don't have feet. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because the skills are just here. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's only this area going up where you have vital organs. These other parts of your body the are others. not as vital as these organs Bye. which are here. Okay, let me just take a moment <laughs> to thank my creator for giving me all my necessary yeah. and not so necessary uh, yeah. organs. So when you find somebody uh -huh. lying down like this, the first thing you do, mm -hmm. you go around and check whether there's anything that might have caused the person to collapse mm -hmm. and that thing might affect you. So you check for that danger. That is very smart. Yeah. Yes. You find yourself okay. part of the casualty. So where we could have had one, now we have two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Then after doing that, mm. if for instance, there is uh, something like electrocution. You can remove that danger mm -hmm. by switching off the light mm -hmm. and uh, removing the, the, the socket mm -hmm. uh, from the source. And then just removing it away. Mm -hmm. Or even still the same if, for instance, you are on the road, somebody has been hit, mm -hmm. you must remove the danger by putting those to signs, mm -hmm. the warning triangles. Oko to to yeah, so that mm -hmm. the other people not leaves, do not guys, the triangle, right? yeah, run over you. Then you become the next casualty. Mm -hmm. So that's why after checking the danger and you remove uh, that danger by making the area safe, then you can now proceed to do first aid. So if this was the person that has collapsed, mm -hmm. it's always good that you come by introducing yourself or talking to the casualty. But I'm a collapse. Yeah, by talking, mm -hmm. you will know whether the person is conscious or not. Mm -hmm. Because if he responds, you know he's conscious. Mm -hmm. There's no need of doing CPR. If he's not talking, you'll go further uh -huh. to assess whether there is breathing or mm -hmm. not. So the same for adult, you just kneel. So we need then to confirm. You do like this. Mm -hmm. You check the chest rise mm -hmm. and fall, mm -hmm. but you also hear the sound mm -hmm. and you also feel the warmth. Mm -hmm. If there are no those signs of breathing, then you go ahead by doing CPR, mm -hmm. where you give two rescue breaths, mm -hmm. 30 chest compressions. Why, so why is here, this one different? This is five rescue breaths. You know? Yes, yes. Then For children and mm -hmm. people who have uh, suffered near drowning, mm -hmm. you start with five. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because normally mm -hmm. they have inadequate oxygen mm -hmm. on their body. Mm -hmm. But for others, mm -hmm. even after collapsing, they still have some oxygenated blood on their body. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can even start with the compressions. Oh. Yes. Okay. Because you will be pumping the blood that is within the system to go to various body you, tissues. You want to tell me, me pumping on a chest? Yes. Is circulating blood? Yes. Really? Yes. You see, even when you touch your heart, mm. the work it's doing is just pumping. Mm -hmm. It's pumping. Mm -hmm. So if it fails, you do this so that you pump the way the heart could have done because the heart contracts mm -hmm. and relaxes. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're doing by doing CPR. Okay. S so you locate the center of yeah, the chest. Uh, yeah. Here, you see, it's even wide. You know, and some <laughs> others have... Mm. Yeah, yeah. And when you do this, this is where you need to also uh, conserve the privacy of the of the patient. Yeah. Act yeah. Okay, continue. I have another question just burning. Uh -huh. Okay. So you put your palm here mm -hmm. at the center, mm -hmm. then you use this other hand to support by bringing it mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. like this. Then you ensure your elbows are straight because you'll push with your chest, with your uh, shoulders mm -hmm. and not the elbows. Mm -hmm. So you push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up to thirty. Mm -hmm. Then you give two rescue breaths here. Mm -hmm. Give you a kiss of life. Whoa! Come inuka, guys. Whoa! That is two. Mm -hmm. Then you do 30 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine, ten, up to 30. Mm -hmm. So you repeat that cycle mm -hmm. three times. That is 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. Mm -hmm. If this person do not wake up, it's a real, real emergency and you need to call for assistance of an ambulance. Mm -hmm. But even after confirming that this person is breathing, it's emergency enough. If there's somebody around, you can tell them to call for mm -hmm. an ambulance because they will come with something called AD mm -hmm. that will shock the heart to yeah, restart. Clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. I watch way too many series, guys. Yeah, yeah. So, uh -huh. so, so that is what we use this one for, to train people how to do CPR. What happens if the, the victim is female and if she's maybe she has a large bosom? Yeah. So will you start asking for permission or will you start helping? You see, the, the, the person is unconscious mm -hmm. and your intention is to help the person. Yeah, but is there a situation where they can come back, they can come to from their unconsciousness and yes. then start blaming fingers? Why did you Yeah, do that, that happens. How so do you handle that? So what, 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 what you need to do is that when you're helping the person, if the person can can react mm -hmm. is when you can seek that person's response but mm -hmm. still it's important to seek consent of the patient yeah so for instance when you come you just say hello mm -hmm. can i help you even if the person does not respond mm -hmm. you just go ahead and introduce yourself mm -hmm. you say my name is fred from saint john ambulance i want to help you because i see that you are not breathing mm -hmm. now i am checking I'm feeling the breath from your mouth. You can narrate what you're doing, yeah, mm -hmm. to check whether. Now I want to give chest compressions mm -hmm. to ensure that I pump some oxygen mm -hmm. to your body tissues. You try to narrate. By the way, when wow. somebody is unconscious, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean they are not hearing. Ati? Yes. Really? Yeah, they may be hearing, only that they cannot respond. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's right. why you do it. But also you do it so that you ensure that whatever you are doing, because there are instances where you even check the pockets mm -hmm. to see whether there are clues, whether this person is taking some medication. So it doesn't give ah, a false impression that you're okay. stealing things from the pocket. And even after removing, you say, I've placed them on your right, mm -hmm. where even other people can, can, can see. see. Yeah. I have one final question when it comes to this dummy before yeah. we open up the first aid kit. Yeah. There are cases yeah. of people who live with epilepsy. Yes. And understand it's not a very easy situation to yeah, manage. Sure. And it's basically it takes a village to raise a child. But yes. I think some need two villages. Yes. I don't have 
a family member or rather I don't I've never seen any one of my family members having yeah. an epileptic You're very lucky. Ep episode yeah. but when I was in high school yeah. I had because uh, I was in an all boarding all girls boarding school yeah, so sure. there was one particular lady in yeah. my year who yeah. who had the condition yes. and the first time I witnessed I almost fainted me with myself she's she's having a situation yeah. I am so afraid I'm almost about to have a situation <laughs> also so is it something you guys teach do you yes do you tell yes us when it comes to epilepsy mm -hmm. the first big problem mm -hmm. is the perception mm -hmm. uh, people think that when somebody is epileptic it's witchcraft yeah because we're african is, of course the person is possessed by evil spirits mm -hmm. but oh. epilepsy just means there is a problem with the electrical activity of the brain mm -hmm. which sometimes make the body uh, behave the way the body is behaving mm -hmm. uh, there's those conversions that mm -hmm. happens so when it happens normally it's something that happens within a duration of about five minutes mm -hmm. and then it's over mm -hmm. so the only first aid that you need to do to that person mm -hmm. is to ensure that when they are falling mm -hmm. you support them so that they have a soft landing and what if you find them on the ground if you find them on the ground what you do is you remove any danger mm -hmm. from around them mm -hmm. if there may be some sharp objects mm -hmm. you just remove those Mm -hmm. sharp objects but you leave the person you don't hold them you're not supposed person. to tilt them to no, a no 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 after the person has finished the convulsing mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. is when now you put them in recovery position Please demonstrate, so, sir. so mm -hmm. recovery position mm -hmm. is where you put somebody slanting to one side like this mm -hmm but it's best demonstrated by another person <laughs> but if you use this this dam I feel you like just, calling a person. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, proceed. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You just put the person's landing mm -hmm. on the left side mm -hmm. and then they will sleep on one of the hand mm -hmm. and then you just turn the one leg mm -hmm. in front and the other one at the So back. should they be crossing like this or like yeah, this? Yeah, for you to be able to lift them, mm -hmm. you just lift the knee a little bit. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you want them to s sleep on this side, mm -hmm. you lift the other side, the knee, and then you use the knee to turn. It's very easy even if the person oh. is stable. Yeah. Okay. So once they roll, mm -hmm. you put them sleeping on one side. Okay. So once they are on this side, if there is any object that's coming from the mouth, oh, it will it just go. Choke. Yes, okay, it okay. won't go back. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called recovery position. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow mm -hmm. the body fluids to go back into the uh, mouth. They mm -hmm. will just come out. But for epilepsy, mm. once you do that, you need to chase people away. Mm -hmm. Because when they will be waking up, mm -hmm. they will feel ashamed. Oh, yeah? it's not even their fault. Yeah, sometimes they will feel ashamed because, mm -hmm. for instance, you are lying down. You know lying down is a position of weakness. And it's not that yeah. she went yeah. falling like an angel. Yeah. Maybe there was yeah. legs everywhere. When you everywhere. wake up, you find everybody is staring oh. at you. Okay. It's not nice for them. So you ensure you chase everybody around mm -hmm. so that when the person wakes up, he feels okay to wake up mm -hmm. and continue because it doesn't stop the person from continuing mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. activities. They were going yeah. somewhere. And for mm -hmm. somebody, if it's a first time, mm -hmm. you need to take them to hospital. Mm -hmm. There are some medications that they normally get. Okay. But if it's a subsequent uh, conversing moment, mm -hmm. then they already, they already know what happens mm -hmm. uh, with that situation they know how to pick up themselves and continue in life mm -hmm. but there are a lot of myths in this kind of i i think something <laughs> that they should incorporate in the new teaching system is compassion yes. we just yes. need to be compassionate with yes the people by the way in the things. syllabus for uh, basic education we've included first aid Yay. yeah ah, so yeah. it's not a select few who will no, be disturbing no, 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 our no, hearts no 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 we want everybody to i know want how us to, to open up the goodie yeah. bag yeah so First aid kit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is, for instance, this one is a universal one. Mm -hmm. You can use it in it's the so car. It's so fancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the car, at home, when you're going for field activities, mm -hmm. you can use this bag. Okay, maybe I'm going a red or a white box. Yeah, is there a difference? Yes, there's a difference What's in the content. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, mm. it depends with what you want to do mm -hmm. with it. 
So if you're using it at home, you know the common injuries at home and the first aid items you need inside. Mm -hmm. It's different, for instance, with somebody who is involved in sports. Mm -hmm and most of the injuries are sprains, mm -hmm. fractures, and the likes. Mm. So the content slightly varies, but this one is universal, so it covers all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I open Ooh, inside... I feel like we're opening a present. Yay! If mm -hmm. I open inside... Mm -hmm. There are quite a number of items here. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, for instance, this one is called a triangle bandage. Mm, that the one for no, you use it to make a sling. Mm -hmm. If somebody has an injured arm, mm -hmm. because you need to raise it above the heart level mm -hmm. to reduce the pain, because you reduce the flow of blood when you raise it above the heart mm -hmm. level. So you use this to make a sling. I'm sure you must have seen people with some slings on their neck and their hands. I really, I hope we get enough time for you to show us. But let's just continue. Yeah. <laughs> then there is also a trauma shear. This one you don't use to cut the body, but to cut the clothing. Okay, yes. it looks like a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> just for clothes. Yeah. Okay. For instance, when somebody is burned mm -hmm. and the cloth is sticking, Ooh. you cut around. Okay. But you leave the cloth mm -hmm. sticking. Mm. It will be removed in mm -hmm. the hospital. Mm. This is called saline water. Saline water. water. Mm -hmm. If somebody has suffered some injury on the eyes mm -hmm. or there is an object on the eye and you cannot get water to flush, mm. you use this one mm -hmm. as an alternative for water. Mm -hmm. But if you have water running, for instance, in mm -hmm. a tap, you use that one. You spare this one. Okay. Then we have ice packs. Mm -hmm. This is for people who get injured in the field. So Again, if somebody hits you, why are you calling it ice? Now you to see baridi. You, it's it's not cold, but for it to be cold, mm -hmm. you have to bust this this uh, pebbles inside, mm -hmm. and it automatically turn cold. But there are different types of mm -hmm. ice packs. Mm -hmm. There are those which you put inside a refrigerator, mm -hmm. but there are those which you just. Uh, for instance, here, mm. the instruction is, is written even an amateur. Kwani ni endo me, at instruction. Sijui <laughs> three minutes. Mm. Yeah. So once they bust, mm. this thing becomes, they bust inside, not outside. Mm -hmm. It becomes cold. So you apply cold treatment, for instance, if an arm is mm. heat. Utko show you si uchawi, as no. we conclude. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. no. Yeah. Then we have a creep bandage. This is for applying compression. If somebody mm. is, is uh, for instance, injured on the ankle, mm -hmm. you tie it round and round and round and round. Mm -hmm. Then we have the resuscitation mask, mm -hmm. the one we were saying that you use for CPR. Mm -hmm. This is how it looks like. When you blow on one side, air doesn't go through, mm -hmm. but on the other side, air goes through. Mm -hmm. So for instance, air doesn't go. If you do like oh this, Okay. So if you are blowing in air, there is no cross infection from the uh -huh, patient. Uh -huh. So you can easily do we CPR need these ones, eh? with mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the other oh, items, this I one everybody I believe knows, yes. is a plaster, mm -hmm. adhesive plaster. Yeah. So for small injuries, mm -hmm. um, after cleaning mm -hmm. with the detergent, you just cover it with it to prevent infection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have quite a number of wipes. Mm -hmm. These are called alcohol pads. They At are nini. alcohol pads, not uh -huh. for drinking, uh -huh. for treating I, I'm sure someone got <laughs> excited when I was scared to alcohol pads. Guys, no, no, yeah. new wet wipes. Uh -huh. Yes. So, yeah, it's more or less close to mm -hmm. wet wipes. So if somebody is injured, it's already having the disinfectant, so you just wipe around. And then you apply the covering, whether it's a bandage mm -hmm. or it's a plaster. Kwa movie in Onaga, if you get shot, someone goes quickly, gets vodka, then pours shui, to disinfect. Yes, and then by that's the way, when you get shot, mm -hmm. there are a lot of maneuvers that you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for instance, you can, there is an important thing here which I won't go without saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, for instance, when your chest is, is injured, there's something called occlusive dressing, but I can't find it here. Mm -hmm. But it's very important. But there's always a modification. Mm -hmm. So, for the occlusive dressing, it's, it sticks on the three sides. Mm -hmm. 
like insurance. insurance so if somebody, yeah, if somebody mm. is shot here, mm -hmm. you apply it so that the person can breathe the air out, but when he's breathing in, it locks. So there's no external air. Oh, oh. Yeah. But it because says iPad. Because it's very sucking oh. injury. So it prevents the external air getting into the cavity, only the air that you breathe. So because when you breathe out, uh -huh. it opens. When you breathe in, yeah, it closes like that. Mm. Then God what should not medicine, miss in yeah. any first aid kit mm -hmm. is gloves. Mm -hmm gloves because anything you're handling and a patient with body fluids like blood you must put them on to prevent gross infection mm -hmm. but if you happen to be affected by the patient's blood or anything you need to go to hospital immediately mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that you can be given a pep okay a jab to prevent mm -hmm. hiv infection which mm -hmm. might happen but that must be done within 72 hours. Okay, so thank you. But you need to use gloves to prevent that from happening. happening. Okay, yeah. thank you so very much yeah. for coming, sir. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Mwisho, uh, last week on Monday we were debating which one is better give, yes. so to speak, rather. And it was between traditional medicine and modern medicine. Yes. But one person in modern medicine. Yes. Is there a close second to a first aid kit in yes. traditional? Yes, everything here has a local modification. So trying to commit Yeah, because for instance, if you don't have this mm -hmm. CPR, mm -hmm. you can always use any kind of polythene and just make a hole. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a bandage, mm -hmm. you can always just have a clean cloth mm -hmm. and use it. If you don't have an occlusive dressing, mm -hmm. you can just use a polythene and use a tape mm -hmm. to mask it on three sides mm -hmm. and leave one side. Everything here you can modify, yeah? If you don't have the shears, mm -hmm. trauma shears, you can use anything to cut around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, but what is not in this kit mm -hmm. that should never be in this kit mm -hmm. is any kind of medication. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because medication is not passed off first aid. It can cause more harm than good. Than good. Ooh. Yeah. We need to have a part two of this, sir. Yeah. It's very interesting and intriguing. Thank yeah. you again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can we find you on social media by any chance? Yes, we are available at St. John Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's Facebook or Twitter mm -hmm. or Instagram. It's the same at St. John Kenya. Okay, I'm just yeah. going to borrow this gentleman for a minute. <laughs> Guys, <coughs> don't forget. I'll try a segment now, Ian. So this is my friend, he's called Ian, and Ian and I would like to say thank you for watching the health segment. He's a buff guy, he's from St. John Ambulance, and uh, he's fairly quiet, he doesn't say much, but we think together, and we, sh we, we insist, we don't even think, we insist that you stay with us on Wine in the Morning. We have youth and politics coming up, and then after that, Man Crush Monday, so you don't want to miss it. Bye, Ian. Bye.